Kaba dumpa kunba yiya moka paata. Ona nai kachu. Ingin kuno ba muli rachi kun tong na buncha nyonyang. Kaba bolpa muli kama na ichuta yun patisa imba ni chalora kun. Bona, kava tumpa kulpa iya moka paata. Jiyoka ku tumpa kulpa iya. Onde um compadre toma mochuba, loda de itacun, ida patisa batua, cachatu tom, bagracha com tija com, chuba caha, chapa chawa chuish, yunku, jodo jibunga rantang, ca chikun ida haldonga, e kingu no ba mulera chikun, se mo podo na rude haldonga ku unka be. Takum jus tak miki gravel mogo kacicu ita botunga turbo bank walau ganda naru cucut mugi siapa punka bola wana cik ne mule slimo pudo dalam nangga kubis mule rabes runda diho tunga kun hangga bi wana kun bes cing pala mule tungking ba nunutek. Tuk ning chatu kunde mule rabes. Jedo ba do wana ni di bobo. Tong na bungsha nununya. Tong patukas magtalea. Kuya mi juz chikata na patoga ya. Fulki koko gala jiji. Gawa na bot atagwa. Kagidora te kun watate mo na iya bola.
Greetings, stranger. My name is Gelrut. Are you a Pazak player by chance? It's so hard for me to find a match now that I've been banned from the Upper City Cantina. A simple misunderstanding. Some of the other Pazak players don't understand the finer points of the game. So what if I win 15 matches in a row? That doesn't mean I cheat. There's no justice. My lucky Pazak deck was confiscated and I was banned from the Upper Cantina. Since then, I've been desperate to find a match. If you want to ask questions, go talk to Zax in the bounty office. He knows everything that's happening on Taurus. I'm just here to play for Zack. So do you want to play or not? Excellent. My funds were getting somewhat low. Played well and if you want if Kipuna.
Greetings, strange. Excellent. My funds were getting somewhat low. Played. If you, if you, <laughs> greetings. A sim as axle.
Played well and I'm if you're greetings action. Played well if you're yeah. 
Greetings, straight. Excellent. You did well in our last match, but I think your luck may be about to run out. If you're ever... Go away. Kipuna Three. I can't wait for the big swoop race. I hear the Volkers have a new engine that's gonna break all the records. Huh? What? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle those head tails. Don't worry, honey. Alien girls aren't really my thing. I'm much more interested in an attractive female of my own species. I don't like the tone of your voice. I work for David Kang. I'm used to people treating me with respect. I'm one of his top couriers. Davik's always sending me off planet to deliver and bring back packages. He knows he can trust me to follow my orders to the letter. Plus, I used to be an intergalactic customs agent, so I know all the tricks they use to catch smugglers. That gives me the edge I need on my courier runs. 
Davik's ship is the fastest one in the entire quadrant. But even the Ebonhawk can't get off Taurus until the quarantine is lifted. The Sith fleet has the planet surrounded. Any ship leaving orbit without proper access codes will be disintegrated by the Sith auto-targeting laser cannons. And those codes are locked safely away in the military base. Davik's pretty upset about it. His smuggling operation isn't making any money. But even with his underworld connections, he can't get his hands on those codes. It's not like it's some big secret. It's kind of hard for Davik to keep a low profile when he belongs to a big intergalactic crime syndicate like the Exchange. Hate to see a pretty lady leaving, but you ain't the only girl in this place. I guess I'll go back to enjoying the dancers. Mucha shaka paga, ye ki kun no ba muladra ki chiton. This game war is getting out of hand. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. Koyami juski chita nai. Tong patoga smaktilia. Who you call a little girl, Chuba Face? Just a sec, boys. Solbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. <laughs> Complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Hey, relax, Big Z. No need to be rude. Sorry about that. But Wookiees ain't much for conversation, you know? I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic, they just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need, We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City gangs, I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate, but I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations, the Ebon Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there. Except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the lower city. The Black Volkers and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are led by Gadden Beck. He's a good guy. He lost his sight in a swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor Brezhik. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a Hidden Beck. Gadden considered that ungrateful space slug his adopted son. 
When Gadden went blind, everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Bredrick in his place. But Gadden figured Bredrick wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. But Bredrick was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Bex from the face of terrorists. This gang war in the Lower City is totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out on the streets. It's like they've gone insane. Kalonord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridian Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time, way beneath the bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure kalo has been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. <laughs> Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. I saw Davik's new starship at the spaceport before the quarantine. They say it's the fastest ship on Terrace. He calls it the Ebon Hawk. I'll stick with the bounties Davik puts out. They're usually less dangerous than the government-funded contracts. Takum justak Miki Grabulmogo Kachichu Itabodunga Tolbabank Waleoganda Naru Chuchut. Mulle <laughs> Kun kun jo 
besok mau no, gak boleh lagi Ceriot orang si Aita dia Kulau na cinek Gak boleh rasli bawang aku bisking Kaki cun Aita odunga Tau kum justak mikke grabe moga Tulpa da muku aya gando da naga cucut Moga sam pumpa Boyawa na cikni Bamul slimo poda na wanga kumbis Muli radest Jibe dua nani bobo Tung namun sa nunjang Muci kito aki jiji aku Labuda na wengkis matoma Inkin slimo podo na muli racikun Nova rumbi hautung na kuhung kabi Tunga buksa umenong Kara vol pamulsli Kuma nabak mulira Juni yun tun jici Aita duana Kara vol pamulsli Kuma na Labuda na wengkis matoma Inkin slimo podo na mulira chikun Nova rumbi hautung na kuhung kabi Kawis mana wis Tung jomi a hako no Mule ra yo nu na ze Ji ji mui bedwa na ita wish Mule ne bo wo me Uwa na tu la bo da Ya mi ju sa Ayo ho no pis Tu u la ji yo kako Tung pa tu ra smak te le a He he A shuta Tung ga kun bis dol pe ki go ya na Tunira na nu prata tung kyo Sercha toma toma Kala rui pa mulji kumana Kim kon sha si kin Me kin kon nova mule ra ji kun Wanda kumbes jimba ya nuli Tunira na nu prata tung kyo Aku ji kopa Ji no mule ra kin pajak Slima pui tua na Kaki cun naitha odunga Tau kum justak mikke grabe moga Tur pada muku aya gando da naga cucut Moga sam pumpa Boyawa na cikni Bamul slimo poda na wanga kumbis Muli radest Labuda na wengkis matoma Inkin slimo podo na muli racikun Nova rumbi hautung na kuhung kabi Rumbi hautung na tong kimba nang kongkek Wana kumbes jimpa ya mui kuhung kabi Tuk neng tangjo kune muli rabes Labuda na wengkis matoma Inkin slimo podo na muli racikun Nova rumbi hautung na kuhung kabi Jiyo kakon bolera Kien kon jo pesha Nova bolera ji Jariyo tora anchi Aita dia Pulau na chinek Ba bolera slimo ang aku bisking Tung batura smakilia Kipona, kona naikaju Kimba muli ratwana Tau pa bote nyago jojo piti Kawa dupa kulpa iya mokata Wanga kumbis, kimba muli rat Kakin chana kokba kon Kawa dupa kulpa iya bote nya Rundi hautung ratung kimba nang kongke Wana kumbes, jimpa ya mui, kunung kabi Tuk neng tangjo, kune muli rabes Kaki chun naitha odunga Tau kum justak mikke grabe moga Tur pada mungkwa ya gando da naga cucut Moga sam pumpa, 
Boyawa Tachikni, Vamul Slemo Koda Nawanga Kombis, Muli Radest, Tulpada Bungwe Yagando Tanago Chuchut, Kawana Buta, Awiat Tagua Tankidora, Chilomula Bini Bobo, Wonga Kombis Tank, Vamuli Tonga itu anji jiu malik pa ajin ko tu tonga buk shaun menom kara wal pa muji kumana bak mulera chuni yun tun jiu aifa drama kara wal pa muji kumana tuni rana nu prata tun kyo sercha toma toma. Kawaru pamuji kumana kinkon shashi ken ne ken ko no wa mule ra je kun wa ma kumbes chibala muli tonera na no pata don ko ta wish ma na wish don jo ne ya akono mule ra yo nu na ze chichi mui be wa na ita wish mule ne bo wa me. Uva na tu la boda ya mi juza Ayo hono pis tu ula ji yo kaku Tawa na wota ayo tatago Kanki doba na yi mi juz ko jiz kana yo ho 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 Tora ya fulke, gokola jiji, wajad nechu, labola na wenki smatoma, yinkin slimo podona mulera chikun, nova rumbi hadunga kuhunkabi. Tonda to. Jibedwa nani bobo. Tung mabung sa nungyang Ako chiko pa Chino mula raking paja Slimo po ito ana Kawis manawis Tung yun niya hako nung Mula rayo nunase Chiching wibig wana itawis Muli na buwa mi Uva na tu la boda ya mi juza Ayo ho no pis tu ula ji yo kaku I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that As long as we don't end up on the list of their victims Tu ni rana no prata tun kyo Sercha toma toma Kala ui pa mirji kumana Kin kon shashi kin Ne kin kon no va mule ra ji kun Wana kumbes, chimbala muli, tunera nano pwata dunko. Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing, but doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. Kachi chona ita odunga, tau kum justak mike grabi moga. Tota da vunkwa yagando da naga chuchut. Moga shampumpa, bolla wana chikni. Vamul slimo poda na wanga kumbis muli radest. La boda na wenki smatoma. Inkin slimo podo na muli radjikun. Nova rundi hatunga kuhunkabi. Rundi hau tonga tonki mba nang kongkek Wana kumbes jinta ya mui kunung kabi Tuk neng tangjo kune muli rabes Tuniran nanu prata tungkyo sercha toma toma Kala rui pa muji kumana kin kon shashi ken Ne ken ko no va mule ra je kun Wana kumbes chintala muli Tunera na no pwata dun kota wish mana wish Tung jo ni ahak 
Kono. Mle ayo nuna se. Jijing we be doa na ita wish. Mule de bobo me. Uba na pula boda ya mi jusa. Ayo hono pis. Tu wula ji yo kaku. Kava dumpa kurpi ye ya moka papa. Jiska ni jo. Inkin kono ba mule raji kum. Tog na wong shanun jang. Kava wulpa mulje kumana. Rundi hao. Taji chon na ita hao dunga. Tau kum justak ni kegrabi moga. Tog pa da wukwa ya gando da naga chuchut. Moga shan prumpa. Bola wana chikni. Bamul slimo oda na wanga kumbis. Muli radest. Kipona. Ona na kachuk. Kimba muli radwana. Ta wupa bote nyako chuchu piti. Ta wadu pa kupa niya mokana. Wanga kumbis. Kimba muli rad. Ta kincha na kokba kon. Kava dupa kupa iya botenya Tunira nanu prata dunkyo Sercha doma doma Kava vipa mulji kumana Kinkon shashi ken Neken kol nova mule raje kun Wama kumbes chitala muli Tunira nanu prata dunko Tunira nanu prata dunkyo Sercha doma doma Kawa wipa mulji kumana Kinkon shashi ken Neken kol nova mule raje kun Wama kumbes chitala muli Tunira nanu prata dunko Jiyo kakol mule ra Kinkon jo peshak Nova mule raje Jariyo tora anji Aita dia Bula una chinek Bamule rasli mo anga kubis Kintava pudu Tunera nano prata dunno Secha Ito apen ki Rundi haudung Kipona Ona na kajo Kimba mule ratwana Ta wupa bote nyago jojo piti Kava dumpa kulpa hiya mokata Wanga kumbis kimba mule ra Ta kincha na kokba kon Kava dumpa kulpa hiya bote nya Tunira nanu prata dunkyo Secha doma doma Kava wipa mulji kumana Kinkon shashi ken Neken kol nova mule ra jekun Wama kumbes chinta ya muli Tunera nano pwata dunko Chiyo kakol molera Kien konjo pesha Nova moleraji Chariyo tora anji Aita dia Ula una chinek Ba molera slimo anga kubis king Rundi hao Tawish mana wish Tungjo ni ahak konong Mule rayo nuna se Jijing wibidwa na ita wish Mule de bobo ni Uba na tula boda Ya mi jusa Ayo hono pis Tuwila ji yo kaku Tunga buksha ume nong Kara wulpa mwishli Kuma nga bak muli ra Chuni yun tun ji chi Aitha dwana Kawa vul pa mu jwe Kuma nga Rundi hao tunga tung kin Tuni ra nga nu prata tung kyo Secha doma doma Kawa vul pa mu jwe Kuma nga Kin kon shashi ken, neken kon nova mule raje kun. 
Wana kumes cinta ya beli Tunera nana vata dung kota cicu naifa odunga Tau kum justak nike gramil moga Tur pada bungkwa ya gando danaga cucut Moga sampung pak boya wana cikni Kamu selimut pada nawangga kumbis Muli rabis Rundi hau tunga tungkin badang kongkik Wana kumbis cinta ya mui kunung kami Tuk neng tangjo kune muli rabis Kala dumpa kul piyaya moka bata Kiska ni chok Inkin kono bamule rachikum Tog na wong shanun jang Kala wul bamul jik kumana Labela na wengkye smatona Inkin slimo podo na mule rachikum Nova rundi hadung na kuhung kami Yim nova mule rakin kunci kum Mucha shag pang pa Jibe dua nani Back again. Well, ever since I was banned from the upper canton. Excellent. Played well. If if back again. Axe. Played well. If you're back again. 
Back again. Ax You did well in our last match, but I think your luck may be about. If you ever look back again, excellent. Played well. 
If you're up. Back again. Ax. You did well in our last match. If you're ever looking for a Back again. Excellent. You played well. If you back again, X. You did well in our lap. If you ever look You cool 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 yeah
Back again. Excellent. You did well in our last match. If you ever look... Back again. Excellent. You did well in our last match, but I think your luck may be about to run. If you ever look... Back again. Excellent. Thank <laughs> you. 
Played well. If you're hey. You can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gadon Thek? A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the hidden back's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith conquest and the Vulcan gang war, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadden in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. Go in and speak to Gadden if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The Hidden Becks are watching you. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Vulkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Vulcans do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcan spy. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brezhik and the Vulcans began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? A foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the Lower City. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Brezhik, but he and his Vulcans won't listen. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the Upper City about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has her own agenda. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcans, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcans stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. 
It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcans found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcans aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Normally, the Vulcans would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then, when well, we can't fight all the gangs? The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop race. I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us, we both have something to gain here, and much to lose. You're in no position to bargain here. Without my help, you don't have a hope of getting this Bastila back. You should at least listen to what I have to say. The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hiddenbecks this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcans stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. My word is my bond. Everybody in the lower city knows my reputation. Besides, you really don't have a choice. I'm your only ticket into the swoop race. Getting into the Volca base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veo. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City Guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. I like to be prepared. Eventually, the Sith are going to try to drive us out of the Undercity. Sith disguises might give my people the edge we need in a crucial battle. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Your time would probably be better spent going after the prototype swoop engine the Vulcans stole from us. But I'll answer your questions if I can. Uh, very tactful. Are you itching for a fight or something? How dare you? I should kill you where you stand. Calm down, Zerdra. I'm not ashamed of what I've become. As you can see, I lost my eyes in a swoop racing crash. I rely on these artificial replacements to see now. But my blindness was not the worst consequence of my accident. My affliction was what eventually led to this war between my Bex and the Vulcans. When I lost my sight in the swoop bike accident, everyone assumed I would step down as leader of the Hidden Bex and let Brezhik, my most trusted follower, take over. But with my ocular implants, I can still see well enough to lead this gang. And I knew Brezhik wasn't ready to take over yet. Unfortunately, Brezhik didn't agree with me. 
In a rage, he left to join our arch rivals, the Black Vultures. A lot of the younger gang members followed him, and soon he and his followers had taken control of the Vulcan gang. Brezik is a proud man. My decision was a public humiliation for him. Maybe if I had stepped down, this gang war could have been avoided. Don't fool yourself, Gadden. Brezik wants to control the lower city gangs. If you'd stepped down, he'd have led the Bex against the Vulkers. He wanted this war, one way or another. <sighs> I know your rights, Erdra. Brezik won't rest until I am dead and the Bex are no more. But it's hard to accept the truth of his betrayal. Your time would probably be... A foreign army invades Terrace if the... Don't fool you. But so... Your... When I lost my sight in the swoop bike accident, everyone assumed I would step down as leader of the Hidden Bex and let Brezik, my most trusted follower, take over. But with my ocular implants, I can still see well enough to lead this gang. And I knew Brezik wasn't ready to take over yet. Unfortunately, Brezik didn't agree with me. In a rage, he left to join our arch-rivals, the Black Vulcans. A lot of the younger gang members followed him, and soon he and his followers had taken control of the Vulcan gang. Brezik is a proud man. My decision was a public humiliation for him. Maybe if I had stepped down, this gang war could have been avoided. Don't fool yourself, Gadden. Bre <sighs> Feel free to come back anytime. We're not like those Vulcan savages. Strangers are welcome in the Beck base. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcan spy. You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Kavadumpa <laughs> 
Ona kun bez ching palamule tunking ba nunotek tuk ning chatukunde mule rabes. Ah, so you want to play this the hard way? <laughs> okay. Tuni pudu rana nu prata dunk no sercha. It's you a penki. What a no woman mulera. Kenjun to Pashak. No bully muli raji. Johnny tun. Turji chiwi itado. Bola una dichek. Balamuri slimo wanga kun bisching. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candrus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Chiwi aita ka chong chi cha Agi inko tune kyura mori ra Tangi wama jiko na Donk ki pa nonku nek abog Chiyo kaku Kimba muli ra dwana ji Kuyami juski chika nai Uba baska dwana chichopa muska Chiska da soki kupa bona na chachu Here's a bounty on your little green heads I'm here to collect Just kronki to pets nemo Chi ita kanki chan na kilikon. Kimba muli ra dwana ji. Kimba no ku nixet abog. That's the plan. Ah! <laughs> 
on it. Damn! I'm here. On it. Done. Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? No, I'm the one with the blaster pointed at you. I get to ask the questions. What are you doing here? Well, go explore somewhere else. There's nothing interesting for you here. This is your only warning. If you bother me again, you won't walk out of here alive. I gave you a chance to get out of here and leave me alone, but I guess you're just too stupid to take it. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris.
Yes, what's on your mind? Oh, you want to argue some more, is that it? <laughs> Can't say I've ever met a woman quite like you before. You're really something. I just don't trust easily, and for good reasons, which are my own. Oh, damn it. I suppose I won't get any rest until I talk, will I? You want to know why I don't trust anyone? Fine. Here goes. Five years ago, the Jedi had just finished the war with the Mandalorians. Revan and Malak were heroes. I was damn proud to have served in their fleet. It was completely unexpected when they turned on us, invading the Republic while we were still weak. Nobody knew what to think. Least of all me. Our heroes had become brutal, conquering Sith. And we were all but helpless before them. I mean, think about it. If you can't even trust the best of the Jedi, who can you trust? It's not that, it's... That's not what I mean. There were, there were others, good, solid, trusted men who joined them. Malak and Revan and the Sith deserve to die for what they've done, but the ones who fled the Republic and joined them are even worse. The dark side has nothing to do with why they joined with the Sith. They deserve no mercy. I know, I'm... And I should apologize to you. I've, I've become so accustomed to expecting the worst in others, and you've done nothing to deserve that. It's just... No, never mind. Let's just continue with what we were doing. I'd rather not talk about it.